So this is Infinite Arms. We have these two Toys to Life robots that connect via Bluetooth to your tablet and then you battle it out. Now we're just looking at equipping our robots before we start the game. Now this is the weapon called Thunderhead and we'll pop it onto the back of Skulpos here and you'll see instantly, it will once you get it clicked in, click, yep. We, um, it instantly appears in the game, it adjusts his stats and his performance and obviously gives him that weapon. Now you can connect two weapons on the back and one in each arm. Here we've got a uh, rifle, um, rapid fire weapon, and this is Grunt. Now each of the weapons have kind of a personality of their own, and they can be upgraded. They have these intricate upgrade trees, uh, much like any sort of RPG, and how you upgrade them affects how they perform in the game, and how much they weigh, how much time they take to recharge. There you go. We've got Grunt attached to Scorpos, and then finally we're going to add a chain gun in to his left hand, now this is Twister, one of the chain guns in the game. Now there's going to be loads of weapons coming out and the sort of the rapid release of weapons and the rapid iteration and refinement of weapons that you can buy both virtually and physically is a big part of why Infinite Arms is really making a stir. So there you go, that's Twister in the game. So we're going to take Scorpos with his um, weapons applied here and we'll be fighting against Ixion. So you can see him all equipped. We do a versus match, player versus player, and we're going to be playing in this new area, the Biome Research Center, so you have, can have a good look at that. But do pay attention to how these players are using the weapons, the sort of tactics that develop as they play. We're going to leave you with the gameplay so you can enjoy this brand new level in full.